Today I'm going to review Studio Titan's 06 200 geared crank stand. So let's get started. If you give guys any sort of athletic task to do in the studio, they will probably jump right up and be totally into it thinking that they're He-Man. And I do use the term athletic a little liberally. But the problem comes in when you're trying to hoist something that weighs over 50 pounds over your head and then lock it into position like the junior boom that I use in my studio all of the time. I don't know about you, but I have pinched a nerve or two in my shoulder from time to time because you just end up in sort of an awkward position putting it up there. And if I have difficulty as a person who weighs 220 pounds or 100 kilograms, I can only imagine what it might be like for a lighter person or a person who is less abled. And that's where geared crank stands come in really handy. Now Studio Titan is competing against Avenger and Matthews and Kupo, and there are probably a few others out there that I don't know about. About, but I don't have any direct experience with those stands, so I will limit my review to the Studio Titan stand, which they sent me about two or three months ago, and I've been using it ever since, and it has been great to use in the studio because I no longer have to worry about hurting myself or actually hurting myself while putting a light up there. It's one of those things I don't want to admit has happened before, but it actually has happened before. It's really easy to use when moving a boom up or down, or I could use it for a main light, but I've always used it for my boom, which of course is the heaviest thing I have to move around my studio. If you do not have the proper amount of counterweight, there will be a little bit of resistance going up, but it is perfectly fine otherwise. The height of the Studio Titan stand is 6.9 feet or 2.1 meters. This could be a little taller, but it is workable. It does come with an extension tube that's about 27 inches or 70 centimeters, but it doesn't feel very stable when using it. The boom sort of leaned a little bit to the side, and I just didn't feel like I needed it that much, and I also didn't feel like it was going to be safe over the long run. I'm sure it probably is safe. It just doesn't look as stable as the two inch square tube that is, you know, the backbone of the stand. So I just decided not to use it. My boom is fairly old and it didn't slide right into the receiver on the stand and I needed to use a one and one eighths inch to five eighths inch stand adapter in order to make it work, which added about five inches and I hope 13 centimeters, if I've done the math correctly, to the height, which of course worked out in my favor. Looking at the specs of the competitors online, it looks like the Studio Titan has a smaller footprint than most of them. If you're using a large boom on set and you're using those other stands, that, well, one of the legs might creep into your shot. So with the Studio Titan, you don't have to worry about that as much, but the difference between them was not great, so maybe that really isn't a big deal in the first place. The legs are also really low to the ground and the stand feels really stable. So I've never felt like I needed to use sandbags or anything like that to stabilize it. And on top of that, you'll be able to roll the legs right underneath other stands if you have a lot going on on your set. Anyway, guys, I hope this made sense. I'm gonna write a longer review and post it to my blog, so I will leave a link about that below. If you're watching this on Instagram TV, you can always watch it on YouTube. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.